Now, your weather alert forecast. On 3 News Now, Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Seppel with this latest weather update for 3newsnow.com. In the morning, we're expecting some patchy fog to develop. It looks like the areas that could see the higher chances for that really kind of hugging that I-80 corridor down to the south. So extreme southern Nebraska, southwestern Iowa, northwestern Missouri into Kansas. Those are the areas that might have a higher chance for it. We are looking at a lot of sunshine, though. Once we get rid of this, probably after about 9 o'clock in the morning, we are expecting sunshine across the entire area and a major warm up. It's going to be so mild in the morning with lows in the mid 50s to even upper 50s, almost running 20 degrees above average. By the time we get into the afternoon, we're talking 15 to almost 20 degrees above average as well. Again, we're going to start off with a south wind, but the winds will begin shifting as we get to the mid morning hours. But this is still going to be an extremely mild day, even with that wind shift taking place later on in the afternoon, even late in the evening. Temperatures are still going to be extremely comfortable. Looking at our winds again through the early morning hours up to maybe about 20 miles an hour. They do start to ease up quite a bit as the sun starts coming up. We are expecting much calmer winds here through the mid morning hours, and that's why the fog most likely will start to develop. Once we get to about the early afternoon, it does jump up just a little bit. 15 to 20 mile per hour wind gusts being driven more so from the northwest by this point, and it kind of levels off a little bit more during the late evening hours. So just a little weak disturbance passing through. We've got a couple more of those systems that'll be moving through, which are going to bring in even cooler temperatures. So Tuesday is going to be the warmest day that we've experienced so far in 2020. Hopefully you can get out and enjoy it a little bit. A lot of sunshine around the area, but it does drop back quite a bit. We've got breezy northwest winds blowing in up to about 30 miles an hour on Wednesday. Even with the weak front passing through dry conditions, mostly sunny. Same thing on Thursday. Again, the front comes in on Wednesday, but the coolest air holds off and doesn't really settle in here until Thursday afternoon. That's when we'll hit a high of only 52 degrees. Still very strong northwest winds blowing in, maybe even up to about 30 to 40 plus miles an hour. Most of sun Friday looks dry for us, but at this point clouds start rolling in. I think late afternoon and evening Maybe a slight chance that we could see some rain developing, but I think it'll be more of an overnight into Saturday. Temperature wise, we do jump up just a few degrees from that high on Thursday, and that's because the south wind will start moving into the area. But then a much stronger cold front starts passing through late Saturday into Sunday. So Easter Sunday, we are looking at a slight chance that there could be a wintry mix around. I think mostly showers initially overnight Sunday into Monday morning is when that mix could take place right now. Doesn't look significant, but something we'll be watching very closely.